Hello, TradeSite is pleased to announce the launch of our Seeker and Comer watch list tools for eSignal 11.5. We've been working on this for a long time now. This has been a much requested item by our subscribers and people who use the Seeker and Comer tools. On prior versions of eSignal, they find the tool to be very powerful for picking reversal points in the market, energy, energy exhaustion points, if you will, using our 1 through 9 and 1 through 13 count signals. And so now we have a way that we can actually save traders tons of time in finding these signals on different time frames and getting a, a bird's eye view of what the market energy is like without having to flip charts and flip time frames just to get an idea. So I'm going to show you briefly how this is going to work. We'll be rolling out a lot of videos in the coming days and weeks on all the different settings that you can do here. But I want to give you a basic idea because we're very excited about this. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. So here's a, a watch list in eSignal. 11.5 and I've just got some stock symbols up here and uh, last trade price on those that's all I've got on the list now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna add column go to formulas and trade site and add the Comer watch list study and what you're gonna see here is two columns pop up this is the setup and this is the countdown they show D for daily I'm gonna right click and go to edit and I'm gonna change them to the five minute time frame so now both of them this one here will show me uh, setup phases, that's the one through nine setup phases that we show in our tool, uh, where each stock is at towards those signals, and then if they've completed a nine recently and they're starting the actual Comer count phase towards a 13 ultimate buy or sell signal, shows how far along they are. So when you get like, for example, the B, that means that you're setting up a buy signal, so the stock's heading down. If you get an S, you're setting up a sell signal, so the stock's heading up. Now I'm also going to add the other study that people like to use with this, which is uh, the seeker and there's a seeker watch list as well I'm gonna throw that on here and then I'll change that one in addition to the five minute time frame just for the sake of this particular demonstration okay and now the setup phases are both the same for both tools both these green columns are identical because they work the same way so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete one of them out so now you've got the setup you've got the seeker 1 through 13 count and you've got the countdown on the comer on the five minute seeker is red and the comer is pink or magenta and so for example if I look at the spiders this shows that on the comer on the five minute chart I should see that we're seven bars towards a sell signal and if I pull up that chart and put it right here on top what you'll see is this bar right here gave us the seven and that's the last number towards the count okay and if I then back this out and take a look it's for example uh, TLT TLT should be seven bars towards a buy signal. Let's pull the chart back up. Here's TLT, and you can see it is indeed seven bars towards a buy signal on the Comer, and it's just completing a new nine bar setup phase to the downside. You saw that green nine, and look at this, it shows us the buy nine. So without having to flip through all these charts all day long, we can see what these things look like, and you can do it on multiple time frames. Let me show you what this looks like on my 4X watch. This will show you just how powerful the new eSignal watch list feature is. So here's my 4X symbols, the 10 that I watch most frequently. Last trade price. The setup phase, the 1 through 9 setup phase on the 5 minute chart for each of those symbols. The seeker counts. You'll notice that the dollar cad here has an, a 13 sell signal. This is what you wait for uh, on these is the 13s. Okay, you got a 13 sell signal on the 5 minute chart. But I've also got the setup phase on the 15 minute charts. It shows me how many bars into the, each of those is those are and the Comer count that goes with those. I've also got the daily chart setup phases and the daily chart uh, seeker signals because we like to use the seeker on the broader time frames. All of this running in one watch list so you don't have to flip through time frames on your chart. It's a crucial time saver for, for traders. People are going to find this invaluable. It's going to get you right to those buy and sell signals without having to be monitoring 20 million things at the same time. So we're very excited about this. I know a lot of people are too and uh, we'll have a lot more to say about it in the coming days and weeks.